what do Muslims believe? Islam is the second largest religion in the world with somewhere between 1.2 and 1.5 billion adherents on the earth. Uh, Islam allows men to have up to four wives and so it's a fast growing religion because the average Muslim family has 8.1 children. Islam therefore is doubling in size every 26 years whereas our world is doubling in population every 40 years. Islam has become the second largest religion after Christianity in America over the last 10 years so there are a lot of Muslims in our country as well as a lot of Muslims around the world. The founder of Islam is Muhammad. He was born in about 570 AD in the town of Mecca. About 40 years after his birth, so somewhere around 610 AD, as he was meditating one day, he had what he believed was a revelation from the angel Gabriel. The angel Gabriel came to him and in essence said to him, recite. The exact words recorded in his holy book, which is the, the Quran from Surah 96.1, is this. In the name of thy Lord the Creator, who created mankind from a clot of blood, recite. So Muhammad recited for the next 22 years. And what he recited became written down over the next 100 years in what we now know as the Quran. The Quran is made up of 114 recitations or surahs, each of which are like small books as compared to books in the Bible. Uh, Muhammad taught his followers that there were five things they must do to achieve the ultimate destination in the afterlife, which is paradise. Those are called the five pillars of Islam. The first pillar you've probably heard of is the Shahada, uh, which is to recite regularly that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. The second pillar is uh, that you must pray five times a day towards Mecca. The third pillar is that you must give alms to the poor. The fourth pillar is that you must fast during the daylight hours of the holy month of Ramadan. And the fifth is that if you are able, and this is determined by uh, your economic situation, but if you can afford it, you should sometime in your lifetime take a Hajj to Mecca, which is the center of Islam. It's where the Kaaba stone is in, in downtown Mecca. If you see the, the pictures on uh, the month of Ramadan, there are millions of people who gather around this, in part because they're fulfilling the fifth pillar of Islam, the taking the Hajj, the pilgrimage, to visit the stone. The Kaaba stone is a meteorite that most scientists believe uh, fell from heaven and what, what happened was it became something that was worshipped within the Middle East. According to tradition, Muhammad's uncle was the keeper of the Kaaba stone and the Kaaba stone was, uh, was the manifestation or the representation of Allah, the moon god. Its symbol and still to this day the symbol of Islam is the crescent. Well, Muhammad was part of a polytheistic religion. The people of his culture and day believed there were 360 days in the year and each one of them had a god that they were dedicated to. Allah was one of those gods, but in his recitation from the angel Gabriel he learned that there was only one god, Allah, and that he, Muhammad, was to be his prophet. So Muhammad taught that by following these five pillars you would achieve paradise if Allah so willed it, because Allah keeps his own counsel, no one can know for sure. According to the Quran, the only sure way to get to heaven is to die during a jihad, during a, a, a time of holy service to Allah. Uh, paradise is a little bit different than heaven. Muhammad writes in Surah 55, they shall recline on couches lined with thick brocade and within reach will hang the fruits of both gardens, which of the Lord's blessings would you deny? Therein are bashful virgins whom neither man nor jinni have touched before, which of your Lord's blessings would you deny? Virgins as fair as coral and rubies. In Surah 56, he says, they shall recline on jeweled couches face to face, and there shall wait on them immortal youths with bowls and ewers and a cup of purest wine that will neither pain their heads nor take away their reason, with fruits of their own choice and fresh fowl that they will relish. And there shall be the dark-eyed huris, chaste as hidden pearls, a reward for all of their deeds. So paradise is a bit different than heaven. It's a, it's a place of great gardens and uh, uh, the curing of your appetites, the sa satiating of those. 
doesn't really say in here what, what women get out of that, although Islam has a whole theology for that as well. Christianity, on the other hand, teaches not five pillars, but one way, grace through faith in Jesus Christ. And that getting to the afterlife, the good place in the afterlife, means you get to go to heaven where you meet Jesus face to face, where he wipes every tear from your eyes and you worship for eternity, but are also assigned rewards and meaningful labor commensurate with what you've done here on the earth, based, again, not on works, but on grace. You compare the two leaders and uh, Muhammad says this, he says, believers make war on the infidels who dwell around you. Deal firmly with them. Know that God is with the righteous. Jesus, on the other hand, in his Sermon on the Mount says, you have heard it said, love your neighbors and hate your enemies. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. So both religions are very evangelistic. Islam spread out rapidly all around the Mediterranean basin in its first hundred years. Islam, by making war, conquered all of the nations of North Africa and then swept into southern Spain. It, it swept through the Middle East into Asia Minor, into Iran and Iraq, and somewhat into China and India, all by the sword. You compare the two leaders and their teachings and you see that they're quite different. You compare uh, their method of getting to heaven and you see it's quite different. You compare uh, what they described God as. Muhammad was aware of the Christian teaching on Trinitarianism and he believed that three gods in one was really just three gods so that Christianity is a polytheistic religion according to Islam. In fact, many uh, Muslims mistakenly believe that the Trinity is Father, Son and the Virgin Mary. We, we know it's Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Christianity teaches uh, three persons in one substance Muhammad teaches there is one God who is Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. That's the difference between the two. I think they're really worth meditating on and ultimately you must choose for yourself which of those, if either one, Christianity or Islam, is the right way.